Welcome to a tutorial video on BitC8. In this video, I'm going to show an advanced pattern of picking a random new number using shuffle list. So there is no way directly within BitC8 to generate a random number. However, there is indirect functionality to do the same thing. So let me step back for a second. There might be some situations where you want to generate some type of random number. And this will be a number of tasks or associated with a particular thing that a player might be given as information or as something they need to do within one or more rooms. So in generating that random number, you want this particular number and you want to be able to use it, but there is no indirect way to create it. Or I should say no direct way to create it. There is an indirect way to create it. And that's what I'm going to show as part of this video. So let's look at right here, a dialogue tool. So I have a dialogue interaction as part of a sprite right here, just the default um, cat. Remember, of course, that dialogue interactions or all interactions flow from top to bottom. So it says I'm a cat. I provide a random number. We have a page break. Remember, page break. Um, breaks up dialogue interactions between different uh, pages here. So we have this, and then I'm using a shuffle list with kind of four different things that look very similar. And I'll click in to show you what I did here. So for each of these, I clicked add, and then down here, item and variable actions, set variable value, and I've set up a variable over here called random that has the initial value of zero. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one, and I've set this up using a shuffle list. So remember, when we have a shuffle list, every time we encounter it, it will pick one from that list. So what I've done is set up random equals one, random equals two, random equals three, random equals four, and for however many I wanted, up to whatever the maximum number was that I wanted, in this case, I want one to four. And then down here, I have another dialog box. I came up with the value, say the value of random, so random over here in variables, and it will show it with a period at the end. So let's go ahead and play this to see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna pick a random number, so I go and interact with the cat. I provide a random number. I came up with the value three, and then let's do it again. Value four, let's do it again. Value one. Let's do it again, value two. And so as we see with each interaction, it runs through the shuffle list and right here sets the value of the variable to one of these values. Now, of course, if I wanted a much larger range, I could create many more options. So clicking inside here, I could add the options as, you show, as I showed and keep adding right here, adding options, adding options, adding options, as many as I wanted until I had all of these that I wanted to create from one to four, one to 10, one to 20, whatever range I want. I can also change these up. I just used one to four, but it might be the case that I actually want to weigh these a little bit more. So maybe if I wanted to weigh my outcomes instead of one, two, three, four, I could set this to one, 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 two, two. So that 50% of the time we would get one and 50% of the time we would get two, but we're still getting right here one out of four. Or if I wanted to lean the the odds even more out of these three fourths of the time we would get one and one fourth of the time we would get two. So we don't actually need, unless we really want it, a one to 20 or one to 100. We can create the same effects using probability and statistics to create more weighted options right here. And all of which are created through a shuffle. Keep in mind right here, shuffle list will pick one every time we encounter it. So how do we get random numbers within bits 8 Well, one of the ways we can go about doing it is creating a variable that will hold that value. Over here as part of our dialog and interaction, we create a shuffle list. And then for each option within the shuffle list, for here I add option, we get rid of the, the dialog, we add item and variable action, set variable value, and we set up the variable we want right here. And then, and then when it is accessed, it will be shuffled, and then we can set up that corresponding probability. So we don't have a direct way to create random numbers, but this is a more advanced pattern showing an indirect way to do it using variables and a shuffle list to come up with random numbers. Again, useful if we want to set up some type of task, a number of things a player needs to do using the avatar, or a number of other things that we might want to use a random number for. All of which we can do within Bitsy 8 indirectly using our knowledge of how variables work and shuffle lists work to create random numbers. Thanks for watching.